When I heard that the Jersey Action for Wildlife group was organising a trip to visit the Minkies, it was an opportunity too good to miss. For the Minkies is a wild and remote collection of islets located 16 miles south of Jersey, traditionally the province of Jersey fishermen. However, in 1952 French fishermen decided to lay claim to it, along with the bountiful waters around. Indeed, it took a decision by the International Court of Justice in 1952 to confirm that the reef did belong to Jersey, and it is now an internationally protected Ramsar site, administered by the parish of Crewville. Our voyage was to take place with Tarka sea trips on Theseus II, and our captain, Dave Nooth, was soon welcoming us aboard. Dave's son proved to be an excellent ship's mate and second in command. Jersey was soon left behind as we crossed the open ocean. But in a while we were able to spot the islands coming into view with their navigation markers and this meant that Dave now had to navigate very carefully as the reef also consists of many sandbars which at high tide are just below the surface. However, at low tide the entire exposed reef will cover an area larger than Jersey itself. Binoculars were soon out to get a clear view of the largest island, known as Metra Eel, the only one large enough to allow any building. A moored boat shows that we were not the only visitors. And although we were anxious to get ashore, there was time for a cup of tea for some, as we could not fit all at once into the rib used as a tender. Once ashore, we had time to get our bearings and to wonder at the clarity of the water. We soon noticed that our fellow visitors had obviously come prepared to do some fishing, and that the states of Jersey had very visibly staked their claim. Soon the rest of our party arrived. and we found that the other visitors had been staying overnight in the granite house that is owned by the states of Jersey and available to rent out. The houses were all built from the 18th century onward to provide shelter for fishermen who would then use them as a base for weeks at a time. But nowadays the others are privately owned and only used occasionally. And the most famous structure is the freestyle toilet because that is listed as the most southerly building in the British Isles. But now we were free to wander at will and to explore the rest of our new surroundings. We found evidence of various past visitors, along with the remains of a quarry, well used until the 19th century. Alongside this, we found a much newer addition to the landscape. And as many of the group were keen bird watchers, the binoculars were soon out again, although nothing especially unusual was to be seen today. This group of turnstones seem to be our main find for the day. But soon we noticed an unexpected new arrival in the form of another tour group of passengers. They were soon offloaded and made a short tour of the island. But in only a few minutes they were away again after a very brief visit. This was the signal for our group to decide that it was time for lunch and Captain Dave soon had the barbecue going. <laughs> our friends had given up on their fishing due to the heavy swell and were planning on a swim instead but found time to stop by for a burger. 
and Dave pointed out to us that this useful but heavy stone had not been there on one of his previous visits, so must have since been washed in by some very large waves. The tide had now turned and it was time for us to leave, but now the swell was going to make it very difficult for the rib to remain stable enough for us to get aboard, so we were very pleased to have some help from these strong young men. <laughs> and now we have to leave our island home for the day. But before we can be too upset, we have one more treat in store. But all too soon, the pod of dolphins left us and we made our way back to Jersey, thankful for the undoubted skill of our skipper. We passed the familiar site of Elizabeth Castle and the less familiar site of our new incinerator before finally returning to shore after a wonderful day out on the remote Minkies Reef.